Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Wednesday. All right guys, so get ready for this because it looks like things have turned ugly according to a new report when it comes to Kyle Richards and Mauricio Umansky and this separation, which is not a divorce, but it's looking like it's headed for divorce. There is a lot. There's a lot of chatter and we're here to break it down for you. Plus Kyle is sharing her plans for Christmas and whether or not they are still planning on living together. So before we jump in, you guys know how this works. If you haven't already, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and let's jump right in. I have said this like five times. I feel like this is just the gift that keeps on giving, which is really unfortunate, but it is Kyle and Mauricio in this separation. It is nonstop. And of course, you guys know that we're going to talk about it, right? Thank you to Reality Blurb for sharing the information, but here we go. Kyle Richards and Mauricio Umansky seem to be at a standstill in their months-long separation as both an insider and Kyle herself are now speaking out on the state of their marriage. During a couple of recent interviews, she looked ahead at the holidays and revealed if she and Mauricio, who also stars on Netflix's Buying Beverly Hills, are still living together as an insider suggested that they don't want to be married anymore. Um, you know, what's interesting is there's an insider who's suggesting this, right? There's my little buddy, Theo, by the way, who just crossed in the back, who everybody was sending all the well wishes and the prayers for. So I appreciate you. But we've heard about this. And then when Kathy Hilton came out and she said, on, I believe it was Good Morning America or the Today Show. It was one of those. But when she came out and said that Kyle wouldn't have taken it this far if she planned on going back, it was very telling. That's her own sister. So I was like, oh, if anybody knows, it would be somebody in the family. And the only person in the family who's talking right now would be Kathy Hilton. So wait, wait, wait. Kyle and Mauricio apparently... As we know, they're putting up a united front for their family, but an insider claims that all is not as it seems. They don't want to be married to each other anymore. A source told this to Life and Style. They agreed to separate with the best of intentions, but things have turned ugly. So in recent months, Kyle has fueled rumors of a potential romance with country singer Morgan Wade, and Mauricio has been linked to a couple of women, including his Dancing with the Stars partner Emma Slater, who he was caught holding hands with during an outing that was just a few weeks ago. Kyle apparently is still stewing over it. She said that he's already acting like the most eligible bachelor in town. We saw her reaction on Watch What Happens Live when she wasn't happy about this togetherness of Emma Slater and Mauricio. I'm sure she felt like this was just one big fat slap in the face, which I don't blame her for. But also on the other end, you're running around with Morgan Wade like this, right? She's writing music about you. Why would Mauricio not be able to do whatever he wanted to do? I think that's fair that he is. I think that that's okay. I mean, you're running around and then you get to say, no, I'm not into women. That's not what this is. We're just really good friends. But then it obviously looks a little bit different when Mauricio is running around with a woman because then it looks like he is with that woman. But it also looks like Kyle is with that woman too. Just more people are going to speculate over Mauricio because he was holding hands. But they're swapping clothes. They're going on trips together. They're traveling. They're doing all of the things. There are music videos. She's writing music about Kyle. I mean, it's like pick your poison. I feel like they're both questionable. So on top of that, oh, it's a lot. They, ha they don't have a prenuptial agreement. So... What they're saying is there's a lot of fear over how to divide their $100 million fortune and real estate holdings, but they both want to move on. So meanwhile, speaking to The Messenger on November 29th, Kyle shared that she would for sure be spending Christmas with Mauricio, noting that they would be celebrating at their Aspen home and saying that she hoped that she could have a pre-Christmas celebration with her sisters, Kathy and Kim. Kyle also reflected on the time that they spent on Thanksgiving at their shared home in Encino. She said this, we live under the same roof, and Mauricio and I have never been a couple that fights. And that's not, I'm not just saying that. If you ask my kids, they have never seen a fight between us ever. So you know it wasn't, we had our close couple of friends there. 
And, you know, it was sort of just a normal Thanksgiving, actually. But as for where her and Mauricio stand today, she said, we're still in the same place. We're just, you know, living under the same roof. It's certainly not a position I ever imagined myself to be in, you know, after being married all these years. So Kyle and Mauricio got married in 1996, and they have their daughters, Portia, Sophia, and Alexia, plus her other daughter, Farah. She said, I love him very much, obviously, so that part is obviously difficult. But I think people do think it's probably strange, I guess. I don't know. I think people think it's not even true that we're going through a hard time. I don't understand that. I don't know that I can imagine anybody that would want to put their family through anything like that. So as Kyle and Mauricio attempt to work through their marriage issues, they're continuing to spend time as a family. She said, we're watching movies last night with the girls. And so I'm just grateful that we're as good as friends as we are. And we can navigate through this difficult time the way that we are. It's been a challenging year and a half. TMZ also caught up with Kyle this week where she told the outlet that while she and her estranged spouse are doing good enough to be at the Grove where they were seen with their daughters over the weekend and getting along, she didn't have an update on their potential reconciliation. She said, we're just taking everything one day at a time. Could you imagine being in the position of her daughters who are probably like, this is so uncomfortably awkward? Mm. Okay, moving on. So Camille Grammer, according to All About the Real Housewives, said that the Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip cast, the Morocco cast, were uninvited to BravoCon. Things are not looking hopeful for the cast, uh, apparently, but it seems like this show is not going to catch a break. First, their season of Ultimate Girls Trip was pushed to 2024 amid the ongoing controversy between Brandy Glanville and Caroline Manzo. And now we're hearing that the cast was uninvited to BravoCon in Las Vegas because Bravo pulled the plug on their panel. Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip Morocco star Camille Grammer recently appeared on Two Tees in a podcast where she filled in for a missing in action host, Teddy Mellencamp. During the podcast, she revealed some juicy scoop about what was going on. And Tamara asked Camille if she knew when the show would air. She said, I don't know. Before dropping the bombshell about BravoCon, she said, we were all invited to BravoCon. The cast was invited to BravoCon, and then we were uninvited because they decided to cancel our panel. And I think that was a network decision, so I didn't take it personally. Was I bummed? Yes, I even DM'd Andy. I'm bummed, and he's like, I know you're bummed. She said, "It's imp well, you, we still don't know what's going on behind the scenes, by the way. I just wanted to add that. It is important to note that BravoCon, it, it was at BravoCon, Andy did address gossip about this season maybe that it would never air. And according to Andy, he's saying it will air. But in August, Bravo and Peacock announced that they would be shaking things up in the Ultimate Girls Trip universe. Instead of season four of Girls Trip, the Morocco trip, airing in 2023, it was pushed back to 2024. And in its place, we got Ultimate Girls Trip Roni Legacy, which is premiering this month. Season four of Ultimate Girls Trip, as you guys know, the cast includes Caroline Manzo, Brandi Glanville, Vicky Gumbelson, Eva Marcel, Phaedra Parks, Camille Meyer, also known as Camille Grammer, Alex McCord, and Gretchen Rossi. Now, this news shocked the Real Housewives, the fan, Real Housewives fans, especially since by the time season four of Ultimate Girl Strip airs in 2024, it will be more than a year from when they actually filmed it. But as all about the Real Housewives previously reported, some major drama went down before filming wrapped on the season, and that was between both Caroline and Brandy. I'm hearing now at this point that they're not even going to air the season, but I want to hear what you guys think. I'm more interested in the Kyle and Mauricio of it all, to be honest with you, because this is just like a roller coaster. But I'm also interested in Ultimate Girls Trip and if you guys think it will actually make it to air. So go ahead and comment below. And before you go, you guys know how this works. If you haven't already, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, and we'll see you next time. Love you guys.